Hey everyone, David Safford here in my little recording booth, also known as a closet. Uh, five years ago, I made a tutorial video about how to turn your ebook covers into 3D book images that you could use to make your books look really awesome. Five years ago, the method that I came up with was a really effective one, but a lot has changed since then and it's actually kind of obsolete. So I thought we need to update that and make sure that you're not wasting your time working too hard. So we're gonna make sure you work smarter, not harder. Check this out, you're gonna love it. Let's get started. So to create your own 3D book cover image of your ebook, you're going to need three things. First, you need a finished book cover. If you do not have a book cover, or at least a filler temporary cover that you could use for early marketing as you're finishing your book and sending it out to your subscribers in you know, small chunks or chapters, uh, check out my video about how to quickly, easily create beautiful book covers for your stories for completely free. Check out that video. I'll put the link in the description. You should see it on your screen right now. So you need a finished book cover file in JPEG or PNG. You're also going to need GIMP, which if you don't have it yet, you definitely need to. It's basically free diet caffeine free Photoshop, which is all you need <laughs> to create these free resources. And finally, you need a website that did not exist when I recorded my last video. And, and this is an amazing thing. It made my previous video obsolete. And you know what? I love it. It's great because it helps us create wonderful resources to get more books out there to more readers. And so the website you want to go to is DIYbookcovers.com slash 3D mockups. I'll put the link in the description below so you don't have to worry about memorizing it. But this is awesome. So check this out. Here's what we're going to do. I have my file ready to go. Step one is to figure out the template that you want. Now here's the awesome thing. It has all these templates of books, phones, and e-readers that you can use. It makes it, you know, it looks like an older uh, generation iPad. You have a paperback, you have a hardcover. And so you pick any of these uh, for your 3D image, or you can go with a composite. If you want to show your book on multiple screens, you can do that here. So we're actually gonna go ahead and do this because when I, when I did this for my trilogy I'm currently working on, I just did the single image, but uh, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go the swag route here. We're gonna make this look really good. Uh, so let's go with this one right here. I like this one here, uh, top, center, left. And so you click on the one that you want and then click next. Step two is to upload your image. And this is where you need to have your JPEG or PNG file ready to go. So here is my file folder with my book covers that I created. Again, check out my video to see how I put this together. You're gonna browse, click on it, and then click upload, even if it doesn't show up. You actually have to click upload to make it appear. So you might be a little nervous, like why isn't it showing up? And so then you should see this preview of the image that you have created for your book. And so here you see the cover, uh, and this is temporary. I may end up keeping it, but it's temporary for the first book in my Smoky Mountain Adventures series uh, called Lost in Smoke. And now I'm gonna click next and the magic is gonna happen. It says step three, save your 3D image as a JPEG or transparent PNG if you wanna change the background. This is really helpful for your author website. This is a really cool thing that you can do. So I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna download both. So I scroll down to the bottom of the image. I'll click the PNG. And as you can see, it's automatically downloading. I'll scroll down again and click the JPEG. Once again, it automatically downloads. All right, so here I'm looking at my downloads folder. Let me go ahead and double click on one of these images to see what we've got. And just like that, I have got my cover that I just created using Canva here on a paperback book, a tablet e-reader, and an older generation iPhone. And this looks amazing on your website or on your social media. So what do we do with these images now that we've created them? That's exactly what we're going to look at in next week's video, where we're going to look at how to create beautiful promotional materials for your website, social media, and just about anything else. Make sure you don't miss it.